Exchange Kids, it's Miss Kim and, oh wait, it's Super Kim and Super Chloe today. And we're so excited to be here with you today. And as you know, we've been talking a lot about different superheroes from the Bible and all of their superpowers. Well, Chloe, here, sit. Yeah, come say hi to all the kids. Oh, okay. Well, before we get into all that, I have a little superhero quiz for you. Let's see how much you know about some different animals that are out there. And I was thinking, since it's Halloween time, what better than to talk about bats? So I have a question for you. Oh, all right, Chloe doesn't want to play. That's all right. You guys can play. All right, how many species of bats are there in the world? How many different kinds of bats are there? Let me give you your options. Is it choice A, 15 different species? Or choice B, 25 different species, or C, 75 different species, or D, 1,300 different species. I'll give you a moment to think. All right, what's your answer? How many species of bats are there? Well, if you answer D, 1,300 different types of bats, you are correct. All right, let me test you with another animal and I've been thinking about walruses. Walruses are cool animals, but they don't get talked about a lot, so I thought we will give them a little attention here today. Well, how much can walruses weigh? Is it A, 200 pounds? Is it B, 500 pounds? Is it C, 853 pounds? Or is it D, 3,000 pounds? How much can walruses weigh? Well, if you answered choice D, guess what? 3,000 pounds was the correct answer. All right, all right. Well, I've got one last question in our quiz for you today. And this is for all you Aussie lovers out there. How fast can a wombat run? And if you don't know what a wombat is, it's part of the marsupial family, kind of like kangaroos and koalas. Is it A, three miles per hour? B, 25 miles per hour? C, 55 miles per hour? Or is it D, 60 miles per hour? How fast can a wombat run? If you answered B, 25 miles per, per hour, you are correct. All right, all right, let's give yourselves a round of applause. Well done on that quiz. And if you didn't know the answers, don't worry, I didn't either. I just learned these myself. Well, let me ask you another question. If you got all three questions correct, does that make you wise? Does knowing a lot of facts make you wise? No, there's a difference between having knowledge and having wisdom. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Knowing facts can be cool and awesome, but having wisdom, having wisdom helps you know how to do something and when to do something. Let me give you an example. I know how to give Chloe a bath, and I also know how to let her run around and have lots of fun outside. So is it wise for me to scrub her with all of her dog shampoo, rinse her off, towel her off, let her dry, make sure she's nice and clean and all fluffy, and then take her to the park and let her run around in the mud? Is that wise? No, that's the wrong order. First we go to the park and play in the mud, and then we take a bath. There is wisdom to doing things in the right order, to knowing when to do them. And there's also wisdom to know how to say things or to do things. And guess what? God loves to give us, give us wisdom when we ask for it. He loves to give us the tools that we need to help us accomplish the purposes that he has set out for us. So today, I wanna to look at a superhero in the Bible, King Solomon. He became king after his father, King David, who was the shepherd who beat Goliath. Well, anyways, young Solomon knew that being king was a big job with a lot of responsibility. And he really wanted to lead his people well. So God told Solomon one day, 
that he could have anything that he wanted. Solomon could ask God for one thing and God would give it to him. Wow, what an opportunity. I wonder what Chloe would ask for if she could ask God for one thing. Maybe it would be an unlimited amount of squirrels that she could chase. Or maybe it would be a never-ending supply of bones that she could chew on. I'll bet she would really like those. What would I choose? What would I ask God for if he would give me one thing? Oh man, when I was younger, my older brother convinced me that I had won a lifetime supply of chocolate. And I've always wanted that to come true. So I might ask God if I had the opportunity for a lifetime supply of chocolate. That would be so tasty. Well, you might be thinking, maybe Solomon asked God for gold or treasures or maybe some tasty treats. But guess what? That's not what Solomon asked God for. Solomon asked God for wisdom. That was the one thing that Solomon wanted the most was wisdom. And God was so happy with that answer. Proverbs 2, verses 3 and 6 through 7 says, To ask for understanding, for the Lord grants wisdom. The Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Exchange Kids, Solomon knew that to lead his people well, he needed God's wisdom to help him carry out his king, his reign and his kingdom and his leadership. He wanted to live out the purpose that God had for him well. And just like that, when we need help to accomplish a purpose in our life, guess who we can ask for wisdom? That's right, we can ask God for wisdom and he loves to give it. So when you need help, think and pray and ask God, God, please grant me wisdom and understanding in this area. And exchange kids, let's put our faith into action. And let me know what happens. Well, until next time, it is Super Kim signing off. And I hope you have a great week and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye.